not to get carried away, but it's the greatest goal in Liverpool's history. It is the best thing that's ever happened to me fucking life. I was putting me notice in from this job at half time, going, I can't talk about these pricks anymore. I can't keep going. I can't put up with it all. They're driving me fucking mad. I hate every single one of them. I hate the fucking manager. I hate the fucking transfer policy. I hate everyone who's involved with everything. I fucking hate you. I hate your mate on Twitter as well. I hate your dickhead who never goes the match, who gives it the big one about we should be buying a midfielder. What are they up to? What's this? What's that? That was me at half time. And then second half. Come on! Come on! And then second half, Liverpool turn up, and then they're still a bit shit if we're all honest about it, but then it goes into injury time, and injury time of injury time, and there is no poetic justice in football. There is no poetic justice in football. And then there's Fabio Carvalho, and it's Liverpool 2, Newcastle 1. Go fuck yourself, Dan Morgan. Aston Villa. <laughs> get him in, don't get him in. Fucking hell. It was incredible. Fucking hell. What are we supposed to do here, Dan? I think we should just press stop. Yeah, it was, I'll can't. do the whole thing on my own, you don't need to worry. <laughs> do it, do it, it was do honestly, it. honestly incredible. It's genuinely my favourite ever Liverpool goals. It is the absolute business. I've got no idea where it is. The ball's on Salah's shoulder, it feels like like it is Long John Silver's parrot for about an hour. And then finally it bobbles down and Carvalho into the roof of the net. I don't even know if it hit the back of the net. He just hits the underside of the bar. And there is bedlam, there is pandemonium. And supposedly Joel Matip dived in front of their bench because they were time wasting bell ends. And if they hadn't wasted time, they might have won the football match. I mean, first thing first, I'm not having a bad word said about Andre Mariner. Um, <laughs> and Dre, Dre as his friends Dre, call him. Dre, I mean, not many True referees man. had that, that amount of time onto time they should have added on, because time they wasted by fucking letting people waste time. Through added time, in added time, and time they didn't add on. Uh, I think we should still be playing now, you within know. Within added no, time. He should have put 15 on. Should have put 15 on. See, so, okay, first things, this is my first game of the season in the flesh. And so, it's I've, crap, done, I've done loads of things from a distance, though, where yeah. I've gone, I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure what, what people are telling me. I'm not quite sure what the narrative's telling me. And I think I see, even though we're shit for most of, a lot of the game, the hearts there, the trying, they, they, yeah, they trying. give a fuck. <laughs> they st- like, for all the people who want to tell you it's stale and the, and the sun just not there, they, they give a shit. They still give a shit. And, they, and, and there's been times down the years where we just fucking get our luck when we deserve it. And it's not about when you're playing well. It's not about when you're carving chances. It's not about how many fucking crosses you put in the box. You just keep plugging. You keep plugging. And there was a little bit of there was a little bit of me when I seen people getting off on 88 where it was like, oh, like this again, is it? Yeah. We back to 2015. Couldn't agree here, more. We? Couldn't agree more. We back to 2015 in this. Yeah. And you know when we talk about we're constantly talking about them how they perform. What's 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 their performance level? Crowd was shy tonight. Performance wise, we were shit. We were angry, which is good. But there's times where we're just not fucking giving them enough of us. We're not believing them enough. And for everyone who stayed, they got it. And they got to give it to the Newcastle but, bench. Oh, they got to give it to the Newcastle bench. Elliot gave it the Newcastle end, which I absolutely enjoyed. Adored. really enjoyed that. Uh, yeah, yeah, like, spot on, wasn't the it? The way after their goal, they took, I think they took about three minutes to get back yeah. in the other half of the pitch. And Elliot has basically done the same. And he's waving at them, he's blowing them kisses, whatever yeah. he's doing. It was absolutely fantastic. It was, the, the, uh, Dan's right, the needly and the heart yeah. and they believe and they hang in there and yeah. they believe in each other and you know at times tonight honestly they really did me head in like and we'll come on to the where they've really done your head in tonight but my god these are all values the ones we've just listed that's how you build a football team that's the stuff that wins build things a football team. yeah that's how you build a football team and you got to see it and they do get the rewards the crap they don't deserve three points but in another way no sides ever deserve three points more because it wasn't coming for them but they still believed over and over and over again I, I think these are really well to not get that Frustrated. There were a couple yeah. of stupid shots, but one thing I'd, the Gomez one, the lad, Gomez one was lad. bad. There was a Fabinho was great, one. By the way, he's probably yeah. my MOM, but that there was, was a something. Fabinho one that was really bad as well. With about on about eighty five when he's like when you're just like why, yeah, why, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, there was two of them, but there wasn't any of that pointless just launching crosses into the box and open for the best, which was nice given that Dan Byrne exists. <laughs> Dan Byrne, honestly, if we'd have if we there was Dan mentioned about people getting off on eighty eight, if we'd have been kicking balls at Dan Byrne's head, I'd have got off on sixty eight because <laughs> I absolutely could not be. <laughs> How much Liverpool Dan Byrne exists, yeah. by the way, yeah. more he's, than any other man I've ever seen. He's everywhere. He's, yeah. I've never ever seen anything he's like him. So good. He's the, th- the impressive thing about him is you think he's gonna you're gonna beat beat him to a ball. There was one second half with about yeah. 15 to go when I thought, oh Salah's in here. He's in, and then all of a sudden, this telescopic go-go gadget fucking leg there's a just lot appears, of and he's there. It's like, yeah, but I, I thought that there's a lot of credit that comes from that tonight because it wasn't perfect. It wasn't <laughs> working. Know. Like, I think we were, I think we were a bit unlucky to go in first half, losing. To be fair, there's a, the, Diaz goes around the keeper. And he has one 
it's a lovely move that by the way it it's is a really, really good yeah, move yeah. two yeah. good vert- two great two great time. vertical passes yeah and all, and they they get a massive slice of luck with their goal I think Henderson tries to intercept it and just can't quite get there and it falls to Longstaff and all of a sudden he's got a really easy through ball and it's 1-0 and it's the kind of thing that's really gone against us so far this season and there would have been a an element of them being within their rights to just let the heads drop to and get really frustrated, yeah. feel more and more sorry for themselves and retreat into the shell that they went into at Old Trafford and I think they should be applauded for not doing that because there was a little barrage. We had a barrage yeah. of corners before half time, which, if you remember, there was the Palace game where they conceded the goal after half an hour. The 15 minutes before half time was pathetic. Yeah, they did not. They actually, they actually come out after that goal and they win heads down, panicking, going, what, what, this is shit, what do we do about this? They had they had a bit of a go, and they weren't great by any stretch of the imagination. The equaliser is absolutely superb, by the way. It's a lovely move. Yeah. Elliot to Salah. The ball back from Salah to, to Firmino is great. The finish is really good. And I, that, it was mad, because I think that ball at the back of the net at the point, I wanted to kill them all. <laughs> even what I've just said about Even what I've just said about that, I think I was... And the, the, the irony is, the one I was going for most at that point was Firmino, because I had no idea where he was playing. He was... He, he was he was playing he was playing alongside Fabinho at one point, and then thankfully sorted himself out and got on the end of a cross. But it was there was they they got very close to the point where I wanted them all dead. 